Marvel Snap just announced they're coming out with two new series of rare cards, Series 4 and Series 5. They also announced they're coming out with a token shop where you can buy cards that you want. So the Series 4 cards are She-Hulk, uh, cost one less for each unspent energy last turn. So that's not bad. If you don't play anything in the fifth round, then she's one cost. So that's, you know, that's good. I can think of a lot of ways that she would be good. Uh, Titania, when any card is played at this location, this card switches sides. Okay, so bouncing back and forth. Um, Luke Cage, your ongoing cards can't have their power reduced. I That's, that's really good. That's like a Colossus, but for everybody. Um, Absorbing Man, on reveal. If your last card you played has an on reveal ability, this card copies it. That could be really good, too. That could be really good, too. Uh, Maria Hill. Add a random one-cost card to your hand. Um, I don't like that as much as this. Agent Coulson. Add a random four-cost and five-cost card to your hand. So if you play him on three, and then you get a four and a five, it, you can really set your deck up like this. So I think that's a that's a really good card. Helicarrier. When you discard this from your hand, replace it with three random cards. So that's kind of crazy. So if you have a discard deck and you get three random cards, you could... Do some crazy stuff with that. Mbaku, if this is in your deck at the end of the game, it leaps to a random location. That's kind of cool. Atuma, if you have another card here at the end of the turn, destroy this. This would be cool with like a with like if somebody played this against you and you like threw a hop goblin down and it like flew down and destroyed this, it'd really ruin their day. Orca plus five power if this is your only card here. There's a couple of cards like this, so that's not bad. Series five. Now here's the crazy ones. Galactus. If this is your only card here, destroy all other locations. This is like the perfect troll card. I got this randomly from an Agent 13. It was the funniest thing of all time. Valkyrie, set all cards at this location to three power. So this is cool too, because somebody could have like this big beefy location, and you just throw this down, and then they have like 12. They have 12 power. Uh, I think th this is, this card's hilarious, but, like, you destroy other locations and you only give yourself three power at the one. Um, this one, I think, is kind of the best card so far. I, I, I really like this card. Uh, Super Scroll has the ongoing effects of all enemy cards. That's crazy. What if they have, like, a... They could have a claw. Man. This card's nuts. And it's ongoing, so it just always has... This card is crazy. I bet you, I bet you there's going to be some nuts decks with this. Shuri could be great with Black Panther decks. Bast, set the power of all cards in your hand to three. Uh, situational, situational, I think. Um, could be really good, could be really bad. Thanos! Um, at the start of the game, shuffle the six Infinity Stones into your deck. Uh, so he's got eight power, cost six. Got the Mind Stone, draw two cards from your deck. So, so far it's like, draw more cards so you get more stones. Power Stone, if you played all six stones, Thanos has plus 10 power. Holy crap, so 18. That's dope. But you, I, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. You'd have to take up six spaces with just stones, and they're like, not very beefy. Uh, Reality Stone, transform this location into a new one, draw a card, that's pretty cool. Draw a card, ongoing. Enemy cards here have negative one power. That's pretty sweet. Space Stone. Next turn, you can move one card at this location. Draw a card. Okay, so these are pretty cool. Gain plus one energy next turn. Draw a card. Okay. Yeah, the stones are pretty cool, and, and Thanos is just, uh, just a beefy dude. Especially if you play all six of these, then he's an 18, which is nuts. I don't, I don't see that happening very often, but... It could happen. Yeah, I think my two favorite are Super Scroll. I think you could do some crazy stuff with this if he has all ongoing effects of enemy cards. That could be nuts. And then Valkyrie. Because um, you could really... They could be destroying you in one location and you just play this and it just levels the playing field. Uh, Galactus is my favorite card just for hilarity. And then uh, Luke Cage I really like. Because if somebody plays like a Spider Woman or something and tries to reduce all your cards' powers, this is this is pretty good for that. They're also coming out with a token shop. So it says, let's talk about targeting. Starting in the next patch, collector's tokens can be found in collector's caches or reserves, uh, which are the boxes on the collection level track starting at level 500. You can use tokens in the token shop to acquire cards you don't have yet. 
The token shop rotates every eight hours, and because these cards rotate so often, you're likely to see a card you've been waiting for relatively quickly. If you don't have the tokens on hand, no problem. You can pin the card in the shop so it won't rotate and buy it when you have enough tokens. So that's awesome. I think it says down here that they're giving out. Yeah, the amount of tokens you'll get depends on your collection level when you log in. So if you're 500 to 999, you get 3,000 tokens. You're 1,000 to 299, you get 6,000. 3,000 plus, you get 12,000 tokens. Um, and how many tokens are needed for each card in the series? If you want a three series card, you need 1,000. Four series, uh, 3,000. Series five, 6,000. So if you're between 500 and 999, you get three series three cards if you find them in the shop um, or a series four card. So that's that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Drop a comment below on what you think of the update and I'll catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Thanks.